Yo, what is up people? Welcome back. I've done a bit of work since the last episode, uh, decided to carry this theme through and now I have got the mossy cobblestone under these kind of pillars, just uh, waiting for some more stone to smelt so I can make these bricks in order to finish all of the floor, but I've cleared it all out and it's pretty much good to go. I think it's all looking good. But the plan for this episode is, let me just actually eat because uh, my hunger is pretty low. The plan for this episode is we are going to try and find ourselves an enchanting table. Just one thing I've got to let you guys know before we get into this episode, and that is at the end of the last one, I decided to have a little look around the cave that we bumped into, one that I had already previously explored, and I managed to find four more diamonds, which is going to be pretty helpful in uh, the enchanting table. Obviously, we're going to use two for that, but we need to get um, sugarcane for the book, and we need to go and grab some obsidian. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to store some of this stuff away. May as well put this gold in here to smelt. Uh, no more iron. Okay, I'm going to store some of this stuff away. My inventory is, is an absolute mess at the moment. All that redstone, all of this sort of stuff. Put the diamonds in here. I'm going to use a uh, iron pickaxe as my main one because I don't want the uh, durability of the diamond to go down. Um, got a bit of food that should do at the moment. I'm going to be needing that leather for the book. Um, let's put these seeds up here and let's go on a little exploration for some sugarcane. For some reason I seem to think that I ha have seen some before and that was somewhere near the swamp but uh, that is just a guess so um, just gonna have to go and have a little explore and see what we can find but there should be some in the swamp area if we're lucky. Uh, just to let you guys know I also have a um, Star Wars Battlefront sniping montage just come out on my channel make sure to check that out it's a lot of fun to record and some pretty crazy sniping in there so uh, make sure to check that out if you're into that sort of thing okay here we go we've got some sugar cane let's uh, grab these bits that's pretty good right next to home and it looks like there's quite a lot around here so uh, we should easily be able to make a book and then possibly start working on some bookshelves Okay, how much? I've got 14 already. It's uh, three in one piece of paper and three bits of paper for a book, if I am correct. Okay, we can replant all of this uh, nearer to home. I may as well grab it all whilst I'm, whilst I'm here. Let's uh, get all of this. Just let you guys know if you have any uh, suggestions, I'll be happy to. Um, take them into account when I'm recording so make sure to leave a comment down below with any ideas you have for the series okay is that everything I think that is all for the time being looks like there's a fair amount possibly over there in the swamp but uh, that will do for the moment 63 or pretty much a stack that is perfect all right so let's head back and uh, start working on the enchanting table I'm gonna have to go uh, cave exploring to grab that obsidian um, but I'm pretty sure if I just mine down hopefully it won't be as unsuccessful as the time before but if I just mine down should be able to find uh, some lava pits which I can just put some of my water bucket on and it will turn into obsidian okay so this stone is smelting up nicely let's uh, start making the books so there we go three pages Oh no, it's only one piece of paper a book, and then there's three bits of leather. Is that right? Is that right? So it's like this, and then uh... No, it's one bit of leather and three bits of paper. I think. Dun -dun. Yes, okay, there we go. So we only need one book, so actually, for the time being, that will do. Let's store the sugar cane away. And these, may as well put the book in there just in case I die, which I hopefully won't. <laughs> And let's go hunting for this obsidian. Not sure where I've put my water bucket. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, here we go. We've got the water bucket. Just going to go and fill this up. And then we can... Uh, hmm, closest place. I reckon... It probably is just worth going back over to this cave system and uh, actually grabbing some lava in there. 
think will be the best way instead of just mining down and wasting my uh, axe durability, pickaxe durability. Let's pop down here. I've got 13 torches, so I'll be able to go down. So it looks like I'm going back up. <laughs> How did I explore before? Oh, okay, that's it. Just gonna jump down there. Take no damage because of the water. Let's keep heading down. Hopefully I can remember the way back. Oh, there's an iron there. Can I grab this? No, damn it. <laughs> okay, that was very unsuccessful. Uh, let's keep going down. Oh, I thought there was some obsidian there. Maybe not. Oh, no, no, no. There we go, phew. Okay, I thought I was going to pick up a stupid death there. The water got in the way. But, uh, I can't exactly remember where I went through here. I'm going to follow this through. More iron up there, probably worth grabbing. Uh, didn't follow this all the way down. Nothing down there. There's got to be some lava around here somewhere. Well, this is uh, unexplored. You never know what I can find. Nope, dead end. Uh, oh, we're not even hunting for diamonds. We just want... We just want lava and obsidian, this is so stupid. Okay, we get my hunger up. Oh, okay. Possibly. Possibly down here. I need to remember the way back up. But, yes, that looks like... This looks like the kind of way we want to head. And I can see obsidian. Perfect. Ooh. Down here now. I can go down there. There we go. I'll just, I'll just take it. Just take it. Take the damage. And here is zombie. Let's just quickly try and get this. How many do I need? It's just four, I think. Let's grab enough there. Put that in here. Uh, let's just a little trick in case there is lava down here. Put the water there. And uh, mine this here so the obsidian doesn't burn the lava. Oh, okay, this takes a lot of time. There we go. Doesn't look like there's any lava below, actually. Is it four? It goes two diamonds, four obsidian, and um, one book. Yeah, yeah, definitely four. Definitely four. Could grab some more for another portal as well. That would probably be worth it, but I'm not going to bore you guys with grabbing. There's eight more for another portal, so we'll just grab the four for the time being, and uh, I'm going to head back up. Okay, check, yep, that is four, right. So let's head back up. I can't remember the way. I dropped in from up here, so let's just build up. Okay. And we've got to head back to that water. I'm probably not going to remember the way. No, it's definitely up here. Get this little hole. Yes, okay, perfect. So we're on our way back now, saw that zombie. Don't want to get involved with him right now. This may take a while. Damn it, I need to start enchanting. Well, I guess we're getting the enchanting table now, but uh, when I get some called Depth Strider, I guess that won't help with going up in the water. But uh, Depth Strider boots are so good and just make everything so much quicker. Okay. Slowly but surely. No, no, no. Oh, wasting time. Um, when we do get back and actually finally make the enchanting table, I think I'm going to try and uh, designate a room in the house to it. I've got all of the cliff base, so I've got, I can use whatever I want, but uh, it would be quite nice to make a uh, designated little room, which will look really cool. And uh, we can decorate that nicely, put loads and loads of lapis in there once we've mined it. I haven't actually got too much lapis yet, but... Uh, I guess with a few more mining missions, we'll we'll get loads more. Okay, so it looks like we're almost there now. It takes so much time. Okay, at least I can see. I can see the moon shine. Okay, working my way up. Let's just uh, let's just build our way up from here. There we go. Perfect. So we're back. Time to uh, head back to the house. Actually, make the, make the table, which should. Oh, that 
that was lucky, thought it was going to get me a little bit. Um, I think it's probably best to sleep. What is the moon doing? That's not a full moon. Because I was also uh, on the hunt for some slime. Because um, thinking of actually making some sticky piston doors here, so they can kind of go across this way. And uh, I just closed them with a lever, say, and that would actually seal this off. I think that was quite a good idea, but we do need slime for sticky pistons. Anyway, I'm going to go to sleep, make sure I don't get attacked by any mobs, and uh, then we can make the enchanting table. Alright, so, if I have done this all correctly, just grab the book. Well, I just that. And the diamonds there, we should have ourselves an enchanting table. There we go, perfect. So I can, I can break it if I need to. So we've got this main area here, we've got some stairs going up, I don't know what this guy's doing. Excuse me, this is my house. Um, I'm just trying to think where would be the most logical place to put it. Or to put a new room. So we've got three, five sections here. Okay, I'm just going to mine this out. Where have I put my axe? I may have not made an axe after the uh, the lava accident. So okay, let's make an axe. I haven't got enough wood. There we go. But this is here. Go. Okay. Oh, slowly but surely, let's make an axe. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm just going to move all of this wood out of the way, mine through here a couple of blocks, and then open it out into a uh, little room, and then we should want to have the uh, beginning of an enchanting room, which is exactly what I wanted to do. By the end of this episode, I will obviously work on decorating it and making it my own sort of uh, nice little decorated place in my own time. And I can do a bit of that next episode if you guys would like me to. But uh, for the time being, I'm just going to clear this out and then we're going to place it down and uh, see what it's like. Obviously, I haven't got 30 levels. I lost a lot of levels when I died last episode, which is annoying. But uh, I'm sure soon we'll be able to get up to 30 with breeding the cows and smelting things. All adds up, and hopefully uh, we'll get 30 levels soon. Okay. So, I think... Oh, it's not symmetrical. There's no significant place right in the middle. This is quite annoying. Okay. If I'm going to... Oh, this is going to aggravate me so much. Because I can't... <laughs> it's... Is it... Have I got it in even numbers? Yeah. So I've got it in six. Ooh. Basically, I wanted to place it smack bang right in the middle here, but I obviously can't. I could get two, I guess. Okay, well, for the time being, I'm going to put it here. I'm sure I'll come up with another method before uh, next episode. I guess we could make this like a nice little entrance into a corridor, into a single corridor, and then open it out into a room down there. But uh, there we go. We've got the enchanted table. So yeah, I just put this in here. I'm breaking one. Obviously, I need a lot more levels, but uh, yeah, so we've got an enchanted table. That's going to really help, and uh, hopefully, we can try and start getting things like efficiency and fortune so we actually can pick up a lot more diamonds and start getting a good amount of gear. I'm just going to harvest this wheat before we end uh, and make sure I breed all of the animals because obviously, food is a huge priority at the moment. Okay, loads of seeds. Let's plant all this. There we go. Just doing the kind of little jobs for the time being. There we go, okay. And now we can feed all the animals. Don't need to kill kill any of them at the moment. Got a bit of food, but not loads, so I just need to keep doing this. And then one day we can actually start shearing the sheep. There we go, perfect. So we got a bit of XP from that, now we're level 11. Okay, I think I need to light this room up, otherwise uh, mobs are going to start spawning in here. Okay, perfect. So there we go, we've got the enchanting table. 
Uh, that was actually quite quick and easy to do. I thought it was going to take a bit more time to get the obsidian, but that was actually pretty good. So next episode, I think we're going to work on the enchanting room, and also we're going to start working on um, building an area up here that we can incorporate into the mountainside. I really like the area up here, so I think I'm going to clear it out, try and make myself uh, a new little kind of place to store my stuff. I think it all look really good. We need to definitely need to do a bit of work on the house, but also we need to get some diamonds and uh, sometime in the future actually work on getting some villagers we can trade with. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next one and uh, make sure to hit that like button if you had a lot of fun. Subscribe if you want to stay consistent with the series and I'll see you guys in the next one.